Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 48 hours. So make sure you don't stay stuck with your business. Subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with all the content we put out because I know it's going to help you to grow and scale what you're currently doing. Now, if you want to learn more about our Sports Business Accelerator program, this is a program that we, we provide for coaches to help them with their business you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me visit the calendly link in the description of this video we'll jump on zoom and ask you a couple of questions see if you are a good fit for for what we have and then we can take it from there now if you just want to send me questions then you can do that as well you can send me a question to make money coaching sports at gmail.com i make it a mission and a priority every single day to answer coaches who reach out to me with with questions so today I want to talk about five ideas to grow your soccer training business, right? Now, I specifically talk about soccer because that's that's kind of the niche I'm in. But if you are a coach in basketball, you're a coach in American football, you're a coach in baseball, okay, which you, you might be a coach in lacrosse, whatever sport you currently coach in. I know these five things I'm going to share with you today will help you to give you some ideas on what services to offer so you can grow your business, offer more services and essentially scale to the next level. All right. So the first service uh, you can offer is one on one uh, training right now. What I like to call this is one on one premium training. So when coaches offer one on one training, a big mistake that they're, they're currently doing with their business is they're making one-on-one -on -one training very similar priced to group training. So what happens is because the difference in group training and one-on-one -on -one training isn't huge, right? A lot of parents are going for the one-on-one -on -one option, right? Because it's more individualized, it's more personalized. So there's their, their child can get more attention from the coach. Now, the problem with this is if there's not a massive price gap between one-on-one -on -one training and group training and you start to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, clients, okay, ultimately your coaching schedule, if you're running this business by yourself, your schedule is going to get busier and busier to the point where you're going to end up doing 20 to 40 one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions per week and that will ultimately lead not, not just to burnout, but you won't be you won't have time to market to promote and to build offers within your business to, to to get to that next level because you're going to be so focused working with these 20 to 40 clients every single week that it's going to take up so much of your time so one on one premium training needs to be something that yes you offer but the the difference in price needs to be so huge that for a parent, it makes sense just to move their child into a group uh, type of uh, training program with you. Okay, I'm going to talk about that a little later. But the first idea, okay, the first service you can offer to, to grow your business is one-on-one -on -one premium training, right? This is where you work one-on-one -on -one with, with the client, okay? And you guys, you know, you come together you personalize the training session for that specific client and you provide total attention one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the player that you're working with. Right, the second idea to grow and scale is offering semi-private, which I also call it a two-on-one. So this is essentially two players on one coach. Now, if your schedule becomes really busy and you're working with a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients, this is an alternative that you can offer okay, to try and reduce the amount of more, more training time you're, you're having on the field. Okay, so two on one, you're essentially working with two clients at once. Okay, this is still quite a premium type of service because you can still create a lot of personalized attention for the, the clients and the players you're working with, but it's not one on one. Okay, essentially, it's two on one, so it's two players, one coach, and you work together and you train together in one uh, training session. Okay, now in terms of your pricing, 
Okay, because it's not one on one, okay, the, the price might be a little bit more affordable than that one on one service, right? So it could the, the two on one or semi private type of training could be anywhere between uh, your group training and one on one uh, training. So anywhere in the middle would be a good price uh, gap when you're offering this type of service. And again, you can work with more players and clients during the week because you can max out your your semi-private training sessions to work with more players okay and that will reduce the amount of time that you are on the field okay so essentially if you're working with 20 to 25 one-on-one -on -one clients or 25 to 30 clients per week all in one-on-one -on -one, Something you can do is transition them into two, into two on one groups, and that will reduce pretty much your training time by by half during the week. Okay, so th those are two things. The first one is one on one premium uh, training. Second is two on one a uh, semi private training, and the third one is small groups. Okay, so the small group training. When I talk about small groups, I look at anywhere between four to six players in one group training at once. Now, these could be kids from different clubs. These could be kids from the same team. These could be a group of friends that have created a group to, to train with you. But this is ultimately how your business will be able to grow and scale a lot quicker. Because any client that comes in, Okay, you can start to fill out your, your small groups so that you're not spending more and more time on the field working in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Okay, so small groups, okay, you can still provide a lot of personalized attention. The training can still be customized to the client. Okay, but essentially what, what it allows you to do when you work with anywhere between four to six players is it gives that type of a team training feel while at the same time keeping the, the session quite personal uh, for the client, okay? So small groups is a fantastic uh, idea for you to implement into your business. It's a fantastic service to provide so that you can start to fill out your groups, right? And reduce the amount of one-on-one -on -one sessions that you have. Now, if you have a client or a prospect or, or a parent that wants to train with you but doesn't want that group training then essentially what you can do is you can offer them the alternatives the two alternatives alternatives would be either semi-private training which is the two-on-one or the one-on-one -on -one premium type of training okay but ultimately what we want to do is we want to move all our clients into small groups so that we're training more players at once and we're maximizing our time on the field, right? The fourth one is open groups, okay? So open group training, which is anywhere between 10 plus players, right? A lot of coaches that run these type of group training sessions, sometimes they have anywhere between 20 to 30 players all training at once. Obviously, what they, what they tend to do is they bring in assistant coaches to help them, and you can divide that the, the group of 30 into into smaller groups so they spread out but they're all training at the same hour okay now this is a great way to maximize your time on the field okay because if you're working with 30 clients at once right that's 30 players you're you're training every single week and any new player that wants to join your program that comes in you can put them into your your open group sessions. Right? All you have to do is you have to bring in an assistant coach and, and divide the open group into smaller groups. And you can have the whole, you know, the entire group training at the same time and in different areas of, of the field. Right. We've got a few coaches in our program that do this really well. OK, they'll run open group training sessions with uh, two assistant coaches you divide that that large group where it's anywhere between 30 to 40 players all at once. You divide it into groups of uh, uh, three. Okay, so individual groups where one coach is taking one group, one coach is taking another group and, and 
you as the head coach to have your own group, right? The, the beauty of this as well is that if you've got so many kids in one group and you have assistant coaches to help you, you can divide players into either ability levels, uh, ages, okay? And you can, you can branch all, all the players off into individual groups where they're working with players of their own level. Okay, so that's one of the beauty of, of having these this type of open group training sessions where you can have kids of all different abilities coming at the same time, same hour. But essentially what we do is we, we divide all the players into their own little groups where they're working with, with your assistant coaches. Okay, and you can have them all do the same thing, but everything's customized depending on the ability level of each group. Okay, so if you run two or three of these open group sessions per week, right, you could be working with up to 100 plus players per week, okay, and you could be only training three hours per week, okay, depending how long your training sessions run. But if you're doing open group sessions and it's one hour and you're working with 50 kids at once, right, obviously you need to have a, a really big, large, um, space to, to host that amount of kids but if you're having 50 50 kids coming at once and you're you know you're running free training sessions back to back um in one day you could have up to 150 kids training one day in your in your in your business and that essentially could be your only training session like your only training day during the week and the rest of the week becomes more opened up for you to, to focus more on the marketing, the promoting, and even offering maybe another group training session day. Okay, so open group sessions are a fantastic option if you want to do really big groups and, you know, you want to bring in assistant coaches to work with, with these, these bigger groups and have everyone train on one set day and set time. Right, the fifth one, the fifth idea, these are camps and clinics, right? So when I talk about a camp or clinic, okay, depending on how you look at it, right? Clinics for me are more specific, right? When I think of a clinic, I think of, of something that's more specific to, to players, right? So you can have a goalkeeping clinic where it's just focused and tailored to goalkeepers. You could have a defender's clinic where it's only for defenders. You could have a striking clinic where it's just open for, for strikers, okay, a skill development clinic, right, whatever you want to do, but the clinic has to be specific to something in the game, right, you could do fitness, fitness and performance clinics, right, anything that is specific, I see as a clinic, a camp, right, a camp is something where you can have players of different abilities, it's very similar to open group, but it's, a little bit smaller and it's more limited to a certain amount of players right in my business I've run several camps uh, before and what I tend to do is I maximize each camp to up to 12 players okay 12 players and I run these camps for two hours right you can have these camps run on a weekly basis you can have them run on a monthly basis you can have them run on a quarterly basis but essentially, they're very different to open group, right? Open group, essentially, you can bring in as many kids as you want into that group, as long as you have assistant coaches. Camps, I feel that you can limit the amount of players that you have at once, okay? And then a clinic, right? A clinic could be very similar numbers to a camp, but what you want to do is you want to make that clinic very specific to solve a problem okay so as i mentioned before it could be for goalkeepers it could be for strikers it could be for defenders it could be for wingers right something you are focusing on specifically with the players you're working with and also the duration of the session is a lot shorter than a camp right when i think of a clinic i think maybe an hour an hour 15 when I think of a camp, I think anywhere between two to three to four hours, okay, in one day, all right? So 
If you want any more help, any more ideas on how to grow and scale your, your business, or you want to learn about our Sports Business Accelerator program, reach out to me. There's two ways to do that. The first one, we can schedule a, a free 15 to 20 minute call. We jump on Zoom. We'll talk about your business, right? Visit the Canly link in the description of this video. You can book a call there. Or if you just want to send me questions, I make it a mission to answer to all the coaches who reach out to me. Okay, my email is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Make sure you, when you do send me an email, okay, you give me a breakdown of what you're currently doing, what you're looking to do, okay, and how you are looking for help to grow and scale uh, your business. Right, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.